What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to connect your farm to hashrate.no for better tracking and better profitability calculators that are tailored specifically to your farm. But before we get into the content, if you would do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. So if you're familiar with hashrate.no, you know that there are a lot of different tools in there. And the more that I dive into it, the more things that I find. And I feel like this one may be pretty helpful for some of you guys out there. Now, most of us who have been here for a while are used to using what to mine. And you can go into what to mine and you can edit your specific farm and your specific hash rates for each GPU. But I think hashrate.no has made this process a little bit easier for you. So typically, if you weren't using this and you wanted to see profitability on your farm, you could do a couple of things. You could go specifically to the calculator. You could type in your hash rate on a specific coin. And once you hit calculate, it's going to just spit out the numbers. You can edit your power cost here. and you know that that's a pretty simple process but it's not like it's going to save that information for you and you have to type it in every time you can also go to the GPU calculator up here and you can add each one of your graphics cards manually and you can hit calculate here and it's going to spit out what's most profitable followed by the ones that aren't as profitable but there is a way to make this a little bit easier on yourself. So notice that I have some coins listed up here at the top. You wouldn't normally see that unless you go to your account and make some changes. So if we go to the account, you'll notice that it does say this is beta and changes will be made and data may be lost at some point. So just keep that in mind. You may have to redo this at some point depending on what they add or remove. And notice that we have a section here for my coins. And if you wanna add a specific coin, you just drop down the menu, go and find the one you're looking for and add it. And if you ever need to remove it, the remove button is right next to it. Now also on the right hand side here where it says my hardware, Currently, if you haven't created this or connected your API key to it, then you won't see any farm here. So if you select estimate for all GPUs, it's not going to give you any information. So what do you need to do to set this up? Well, the first thing that you need to do is select C or add rigs. Now notice that I have my entire farm listed in here. and you select import you're going to get an option to enter an API key now this would work for simple mining uh, MMP OS or Hive OS and to get this information you're gonna need to pull up your Hive OS account make sure that you're on the broad overview of the page and in the upper right hand corner where your uh, user ID is you're going to select there and scroll down to account once you select account there's going to be a few different options up here at the top left hand side and we're looking for sessions. So once you select sessions, you should see a button that says generate new personal API token. Now I've already created one here for hashrate.no, but let me walk you through this process. So you're going to click generate new API key and then you're going to name it. <laughs> Sorry, I had caps lock on. So once you've named it, you'll select save. And once you select save, it's going to tell you confirmation is required. Please enter the six digit code that we've just emailed you. So you're going to go up to your email. You're going to select the confirmation code. You can paste it in here and then you're going to select confirm. Once you do that, it's going to generate a new personal token and you need to be able to copy that new API key. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select show and when you select show, it's going to pop up the confirmation code that's required once again. So you're gonna get a second email and you're gonna enter that confirmation code in there and hit confirm. And then you should be able to highlight that API key so that you can copy it 
and then you're going to take that API key and paste it into the import rig section. Then you're going to select the button that says import. Once you hit the import button, it should populate that information in your account for your entire farm with all of the GPUs included with their names. Now, the first time I did this, it didn't process immediately. And so I did it a second time and the second time it popped up instantly. So perhaps you might have that issue just in case something to be aware of. So I'm going to go back up here to my account and we're going to go to the dashboard. So the dashboard is showing us that these are the coins that I've added and below there you're going to see some graphs that you may find very helpful. So the first one here is for lithium, then we have chlor, and there's two graphs for each coin. Uh, the first one is going to give you the price as well as the earnings and that's a little bit different from the one that's on the bottom which is going to be price versus rewards. In other words, your yield of coin. So notice here on Alephium, the yellow line is the amount of coins that we're receiving per, I think, 100 mega hash. I'm not certain about that. But regardless, what we can see here is that Alephium's yield has been going up while the price of Alephium is going down. Now, if we take a look at Chlor, we can see the price is going up, but the yield is going down. So if we take a look at Dynex, we can see that the uh, dollar amount per Dynex has gone down a little bit, as well as the yield. And, excuse me, the price of Dynex has gone up is the red line. And then the yield is the yellow line on this chart. So you might find this information extremely helpful when trying to figure out what's the best thing to mine at any particular time. But let's explore a few other features that you may find helpful. So the next thing is going to be your hardware page. Now you have every rig listed here with all of the GPUs. And if you want to estimate your earnings on a specific rig, there's a rig estimate button here. Once you select that, it automatically puts in your GPUs and all of your hash rates. And then you can edit your price per kilowatt hour. Once you select calculate, then there you go. It's going to show you in the order of what is most profitable to the least profitable. Now, if we back up, there's one other thing that I want you guys to see, and that is that we can edit the rig. So the only reason that you might find this helpful is what if you only have one Hive OS rig but you've got your desktop running Windows and you're also mining with it. Or let's say you have three rigs that are on Hive OS and two rigs that are on Windows. Well, you can go into the edit rig and you can select a spot here to add additional GPUs and you can add as many as you want to and you can also delete that rig here in this particular section. So one other thing I wanted to show you guys was the option for custom hash rates. So you can go into custom hash rate. It's going to pull up every GPU. And let's say, for example, a 3070 Ti on, we'll say Nexa. This shows 76 mega hash, or excuse me, 76.98 mega hash at 130 watts. Well, how does that compare to what I am actually getting on my farm? Let's go take a look at a 3070 Ti rig. So yeah, we're getting 77.34. Uh, some are as low as 122 watts, some as high as 130. But if you wanted to get very specific, you just go back over here, 77.3 at 122 watts, and then hit the Save button. Now notice once you save it, you have an option to reset it but you can go through each one of your gpus and you can edit it for every single hash rate so that when you do go back to your dashboard and you want to see what's most profitable this could potentially make a difference and it certainly does on some coins as opposed to others on hashrate.no uh, it seems like they're really generous on hash rates on some coins and very pessimistic on others with other coins. So 
I think this could be extremely helpful for you guys. And if it is, do me a favor before you go. Hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.